I'm not a period vlogger, but I do use reusable, I do use reusable menstrual products, and I am making this video because I have not seen any other videos on YouTube about this product, which is the Ruby Cup Sterilizer. Um, I bought a Ruby Cup for you know, this last month and used it for the month. I loved it. There are plenty of videos about the, uh, the Ruby Cup on YouTube, though. You can watch all those for comparisons and reviews. I particularly like the stem, actually. I didn't feel it at all. But that's not what this is about. This is about the sterilizer. I bought the uh, combo pack, which comes with the cup and the sterilizer, for, I believe, about 30 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. I thought I would uh, try it out because I live with my in-laws, and I don't want to be using my mother-in-law's pot to boil my cup every month. So this is really fantastic because you can use it in the microwave, and it makes it really easy, and it's uh, collapsible. You can see here, so I'm doing this one handed. It's made out of silicone, same material as the cup, I think. And it collapses like this so that it can store really nice and easily. This does close. Um, the lid is made out of silicone too, so it's a little bit wobbly and tricky, and you don't actually close it when you use it, so it's kind of weird that it does snap shut, but it's actually pretty airtight um, when you get it closed. But I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, my period ended a couple of days ago, but I've been waiting till our guests left. We had some guests in town and I didn't want to film this while they were around, of course. But um, I sterilized it just once before I used it, and I'm going to sterilize it again now that my period's over. And I just wanted to show you how that works, because like I said, no one else on YouTube seems to have done that. So I still have my stem, so it actually fills just about to the top of the sterilizer right there. Um, I'm just going to fill it with water. I want to make sure that like the cup has water in it. But I don't really want to fill it up all the way because it'll boil over if I do, you know. So I've just got it filled up most of the way here. I don't know if you can see because I did get the black color. That should be probably pretty good. And then we just flip the lid and kind of leave that ajar. Alright. So we just kind of leave this lid sort of on top ajar, like not closed all the way, so that the pressure doesn't, you know, cause it to pop and explode and get uh, just boiling water all over everything. Wouldn't be the, the end of the world if it did, because it's just water. It's going to be boiling. We're sterilizing everything. It should be perfectly clean. Nothing to worry about. Toss that in here, and all you do, it really is just three minutes. Um, I believe our microwave is like 1100 watts, maybe 1000. Pretty standard for a, you know, decent, if, if it can cook a pot pie, it can sterilize your cup. So we've got this going for three minutes. I'm going to skip ahead. Three minutes. Uh, you see, I did actually fill it up pretty high. It did boil over, so I'm just going to wipe that up later. But you got to be very careful when you remove it because if you see here, it is boiling. It does boil. I thought it would take longer than that to start boiling, but it actually does. Uh, can you see that? There's definitely it's steamed up inside there, and like I said, it did boil over, so I did put too much. And so just be very careful. There you go, there's all that steam. You can see how that worked. The cup itself is, you know, not unbearably hot. I would probably rinse it up with cold water before sticking it in. So you've got that, like, kind of residue like it gets when you boil it in a pot. It is pretty hot. Um, but there you go. I mean, it's really that simple. Uh, and then it's all set to go. You can just stick it in there for three minutes, walk away, and then come back with a fully sterilized cup. And not have to worry about it boil, uh, you know, burning in the pot, on the edge of the pot, if you forget it's there, melting. Um, completely worry-free. Very simple. And uh, I really do recommend this product, especially if you're grabbing a ruby cup, which is, um, you know, it's a, a good, decent quality cup. It 
is good quality silicone. And of course, if you're not familiar with the company, they um, donate cups to Africa. Whenever you buy a cup, they give one to a schoolgirl to help her stay in school, which is a really cool program. Uh, so if you are buying a ruby cup, I do recommend getting the combo. Uh, you get to pick your color and size of the cup and the color of the uh, the sterilizer as well. They do come in several colors in addition, and uh, it's just, I think, really handy to have and I think worth the extra 10 bucks. So there you go. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my review of the ruby cup ster sterilizer. Uh, you guys have a good one.